I do it every time. You're killing me now. And I will be denied by you, the animal inside of you. Oh, oh, I want some more. Oh, oh, what are you waiting for? Take a bite of my heart tonight. Are you okay? You kept making those weird faces the whole song. Those weren't weird faces, those were my sexy faces. It just looked like you were having gas pains or something. Great. How are we supposed to get up on the stage at regionals and sell sexy to the judges when I have as much sexual appeal and knowledge as a baby penguin? We'll figure something out. All right, so give me sensual, but don't make fun of it. Like, really try. Okay, now give me sultry. I'm just saying that drunk people who get married to someone they met an hour ago by an Elvis impersonator, I mean, that's a bigger insult to marriage than two gay guys getting hitched. Totally. It's like, if marriage is so sacred, they should just outlaw divorce. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> three, name your favorite 2010 Vogue cover. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Mary Mary Cotillard. Cotillard. Yes, yes, yes. Stop yes. It. I know. I Has anyone read Patti LuPone's new book? I'm kidding, of course I am. <laughs> you scared me so much there, I know. So I was we talk and Skype and text as much as possible, but the only time we're really in sync is when we're hate watching Treme together. These songs go on forever. And why isn't there more Zydeco? Uh, a medium drip and a grande noctite mocha for this guy, and maybe I can get him to split one of those Cupid cookies. You know my coffee order? Of course I did. Could I get a non-fat mocha and a medium drip for my friend Billy Crystal? Uh, you know my coffee order. Farewell, sweet prince. I'm so sorry, Kurt. I know this is really upsetting for you. Reminds you of your mom's funeral, doesn't it? The casket was bigger. But yes. Oh, I don't know, I was gonna get groped in the back of a priest or whatever to change clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there looking like prom the morning after. Mm. Mm. I mean, what am I doing? I'm sort of dating somebody in New York. Uh, you're not in New York, and it's not exclusive, right? You and this fey boy tie, just, it's my kryptonite. Oh. Oh. Wait, this doesn't mean that we're back together, right? I know, no, no, it's cool. That's cool. I know, I know. It's, it's, this is just bros helping bros. Oh, I love when you talk fratty. Mm. 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 Tell me that's not Tina again. Hey, can you two wrap it up? The wedding is about to start, and I need my arm gaze. Oh. You do realize how trashy Lassimus this is, right? Oh, Mercedes, everyone hooks up at weddings. Mm hmm Let's go. All this right. outfit needs an audience. So it's just like when Harry met Sally, but I get to play Meg Ryan. Deal. But I'm Goldie, of course. Of course you are. If you baby, I go out of my head, and I just can't get enough, and I just can't get enough. All the things you do to me, and we walk together. Walking down the street, and I just can't get enough, and I just can't get enough. Every time I think of you, I know we have you're shining down for me, and I just can't get enough, and I just can't get enough, oh, and I just can't seem to get enough. Can we get some punch? Do you want anything? Oh, yeah, I'll take a cup. But just remember, we're not dating, we're just here as friends. I know. Hey, you scared me. Good, because I'm actually Marley's ghost, and I'm here to tell you to stop studying so hard. Mm. I need you to sign one of those non-cheating contracts. You can get one on Oprah's website. I will sign whatever you want. Just please say that you and I can be boyfriends again. What? I don't know if relationships actually work. I mean, we're Bethany and Jason supposed to be forever. For every Bethany and Jason, there is a Will and a Jada and a... a Kurt and a Goldie. Okay, I can't believe we're gonna do this again. I was hoping you'd say yes. Actually, I was kind of planning on it, which is why I sort of um, put something together to try to convince you to stay a little longer. Uh, no, 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 I, that's not gonna happen, okay? I, I, I'm not sitting down and, and listening to you sing to me anymore. Okay. Which is why I prepared something. Another road where maybe I could see another kind of mind there. Then I suddenly see you Ooh, did I tell you I need you? And suddenly I see you Did I tell you I need you? Oh, I got to get you into my life 
invite you to audition for a solo. For sectionals? For sectionals. And besides, tearing off all of your clothes is sort of a tall order. Because of the layers. Because of the layers. Mm. Give me your hand. Hold it to your heart. Just like the song? Like the song. Oh, it's from Blaine. He sent us a gift to say sorry for missing a performance of the night. That's so nice. Okay, that is creepy as hell. Is there one for each of us? Hey, I'll bring him to work with me. Weekends I volunteer at a stray cat rescue. <laughs> it's at the bottom of a coal mine. No, that was a joke. I, I don't. I don't work at a coal mine. I don't know, Kurt. Don't you think you might be overreacting? If anything, I am underreacting. Starchild is trying to take over the band. The soul of Pamela Lansbury is hanging in the balance. It all started when Elliot scored an interview in the Village Voice. And he said, I feel so alive right now. Nothing means more to me than my band. That's great, isn't it? He's calling it his band, Blaine. Okay, and not five minutes ago do I get a text from him that says, oh my god, I just wrote a new song that we have, in all caps, got to do. I mean, he's a psychopath. Kurt, I gotta go. But look, if you're really concerned about Elliot, don't let on, even for a second. Remember the old adage, keep your friends close and your enemies closer? I love you. Don't cry for me, Argentina. We're on our way to get some sheet music. Tomorrow's my audition for the summer show at Six Flags. Whereas I'm spending my summer composing Pip Pip Hooray, the Broadway musical about Pippa Middleton. I've always wanted to use the McKinley faculty bathroom, now that I'm sort of faculty myself. <laughs> so how was it? It felt really grown up. Oh, well, I'm headed back now. Do you want to walk with me? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Oh, hey, is that new? Oh, yeah, I guess so. That's convenient. Yeah, sure, they get an elevator after already graduates. Yeah, all those years of carrying up all those stairs. I'm such a trick. here when we had a fight for that ramp outside? Oh, I know. That was weird, too. You excited to watch the Warblers perform? I am. They're really good. How are the new directions? Oh, you know, they'll get there. A weird elevator. Oh, my God, look, is this a, is this a bathroom? In an elevator? I don't think we're moving. Press, the doors, the doors press, aren't opening. No, press the button. They're not. Just, I, just I, the, press the emergency button. Hello? It's Hello? A buzzing noise. Hello? Hi. Hello? Oh, this goes right up. Let's just do one at the same one time. Okay. Ow! I think we're locked in. What kind of elevator is this? <gasps> No one can hear you. Well, why don't you use your phone? I'm at 4%. Oh, I just died. You gotta stop charging every night. I've told you a hundred times. There's no reception in here anyway. You and Blaine must kiss. If you kiss each other, you will be allowed to leave this room. That's ridiculous. I'm, that's easy. That, that's all we gotta do? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here Blaine we go. and I are about to kiss. Ready? Yeah. I'm just wondering, have you ever had the urges to rip off each other's clothes and get dirty? Uh, yeah, but that's why they invented masturbation. So in this room, can we, can we open up a window? Hey, I'm serious. This is really good. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. I wonder if she made it. Breadsticks, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's it's the, the to-go breadsticks. We're definitely not going to kiss later because I just had like a ton of... Mm -hmm. Not one, two, three, go. Yes, okay, I know on three, on okay. three means. One, two, go! <laughs> Did you take it? Mm -hmm. About Halloween, Kurt. Trick or treat, bada bing. Hey, what's a guy gotta do to get a candy situation up in here, huh? <laughs> oh, this is so lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Where do they find the money? Clay, will you come with me, please? We have a bit of a situation. Nice try, Sue, but we're not gonna fall for an elevator in a barn trick. Oh, once thought of me as a white knight on his steed. Now, hey, yeah. And I hope that you don't suffer, but take the pain. Hope when the moment comes, you'll 
sei 